Well, just like businesses, nonprofits have also been struggling during the pandemic, but they're not giving up. They're getting creative to try to raise funds. Madison joins us now with a story behind one local nonprofit's unique fundraising idea. What's this about Madison? Hey, good morning, Karen. Well, the typical fundraisers like luncheons and galas have all been canceled by the pandemic, but the Dallas Children's Advocacy Center is finding hope in an unusual place, Couture Longhorns. The Dallas Children's Advocacy Center investigates and provides healing services for the most serious cases of child abuse. When the pandemic hit and schools shut down, DCAC saw a dip in reports of child abuse. But that didn't mean abuse wasn't happening. It just wasn't being reported. Once kids returned to the classroom, there was a huge jump in need for services since teachers and others were able to once again see the signs and symptoms. Finished out um, the year with, you know, over 8,000 kids and families served even last year, which is um, actually more than we projected on a normal year. But even though demand for services is up, funds are down, especially after one of their biggest fundraisers was canceled for the second time. So that leaves us with a $300,000 deficit, which is uh, substantial. So then what I'll do is I'll just put some brown boots on them. Enter so Donald Robertson, right? a world-renowned artist often referred to as a modern-day Andy Warhol. I would describe my style, I call it tongue-in-cheek. So what I, I try to be um, fashionable, but I also try to be humorous. He just moved to Dallas in January and in a chance encounter at his son's school, learned of both the fundraising needs at DCAC and of a local business, Barrington Gifts. When you don't have like a big ballroom with booze and waiters and ball gowns and peer pressure, it's really hard to sell stuff. And I told him, well, my people, I got a crazy following and they will totally get behind a good cause. So he helped create a line of products featuring his art with a percentage of sales going straight to DCAC. It's Longhorns in Couture. How Texas is that? And it's fancy. Look at this, with a monogram. And then if you go on their website, there's like a hundred variations. Grassroots fundraising that's making a difference. It's just very, very basic. It's karma correction. And if you Google me, this is like, I'm a world famous artist, people. This, I'm not messing around. And this is a once in a lifetime opportunity to get this bag, do good and correct your karma. I don't know how you could go wrong. I love that karma correction. By the way, Karen, he actually auctioned off two original pieces of art as well that raised over 15,000 for DCAC. So they are well on their way to recovering after what the pandemic did to their fundraising goals. What a great idea. I mean, I'm, I'm sold. That's <laughs> yeah. really cool. All right. Thank you so much, Madison.